Hi, it's Marianne, the Frugal Chef. You know, one of the ways I like to stretch out meals is by making stir fries. This is a great way to use all kinds of vegetables and, you know, and, and meat, but you don't need quantities of stuff, and it just comes out really nice, too. Um, this week I made a beef and, a, you know, vegetable one that I'd like to share with you. Um, and it was it was excellent. The only thing I want to tell you about stir fries is you need to have everything ready before you start because once everything's ready, you're gonna cook this really fast and you know and eat it as soon as it's done. But it, you do need to have all your prep done. So let me show you how I made this. One of the things that one of the most important things for our stir fry is to have a really 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 hot pan. So I'm heating up my my. Uh, pan here. It's in the shape of a wok. So if you have a wok, that's awesome. I'm just going to add about two tablespoons of peanut oil in here. And I want this oil to be, you know, almost like smoking hot. All right, this is ready. It's super hot. I'm going to add my beef. I cut my beef thin like this and in long strips and all I did was put pepper in it. I'm not going to put any cornstarch, nothing like that, just pepper. I'm not putting salt in it either because we're going to put soy sauce in this. So I'm going to cook this first. Our beef is cooked. I'm just going to put it aside. Wipe off my pan and heat, oh, maybe a tablespoon of, of, uh, of oil. Now I'm going to add three scallions. Four large garlic cloves, which I minced. The scallions, by the way, I chopped the whole thing, white, light green, and dark green. About an inch size of fresh garlic, which is minced. Uh, let's cook this for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to start adding my vegetables. I just julienned a bunch of vegetables. Uh, this is a, a bell pepper. It's about a fourth of a big one. These are snap peas, I mean uh, snow peas. And I must have about, I don't know, eight, which I just julienned. I have three medium carrots, which I peeled and cut into long pieces. And I have some baby broccoli, which I also cut as small as I could. We want these veggies to cook, a little, but we want them to stay crispy, so we don't want them to get all wilted on us. So this you know, cook them for maybe four or five minutes. I'm going to return my beef to this. You know, if your beef renders juice while you're cooking it, get rid of that. You don't want the beef to boil. You want it to get nice and cooked in the hot heat. So if you're rendering liquid, which you probably will, just get rid of it. I'm going to put some uh, chili, red chili pepper flakes into this and I'm going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce and a quarter cup of sherry. Mix that well. Ah, uh, this smells really good. Just going to let that liquid evaporate a little bit, and dinner's ready. We're ready to eat. Now, tell me that wasn't easy, my friends. Easy, easy, easy. It's such a pretty dish. I'm going to serve it with uh, brown rice. You can serve it with white rice if you prefer. And there you go. Turn off the heat. We're ready to eat. Bon appetit, my friends, from the frugalchef.com. We used a little bit of a bunch of different vegetables and we have a delicious dinner. Eat well, my friends, without going broke. Be sure you come and visit us. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Take care. I will see you guys soon.